Wing to Space Command. Permission to test Mach 4. This is Space Command. Permission granted. But even if you guys are robots, don't take chances. You got it, Starwing out. Let's just ease this baby. Hey, what's going on? Quick, switch to manual control. It won't budge. Try Delta. It doesn't work either. Something's changing our direction. I'm changing your direction, you fool. Uh, said that, didn't you? <laughs> Doesn't anyone believe in ghosts? Ghosts? Eh, uh, I do now. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Well, Pratterat, I did it. This plane will give me the most powerful weapon I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Your move, Tracy. It's Futura. What are you doing here? I came because of the call from Galaxy Airlines. Galaxy Airlines? They haven't called. They will just about now. Hi, Ghost Command. Uh, just a minute, for you, Jake. The president of Galaxy Airlines is on a video hookup. How did you know Galaxy would call us? See all, know all. <laughs> That's me. Thank heavens I found you. We need help and fast. Have we met before? No, I'm Gerald Vincent, president of Galaxy Airlines. You were highly recommended. How nice. What's the trouble, Mr. Vincent? We lost contact with the Starwing test flight. It's our new secret super plane. This is a model of it. It'll take passengers on trips to Mars, Venus, and the moon. It's the fastest, most advanced spaceship in the world. It can outrun anything in the air. If it got into the wrong hands, it could be turned into a dangerous weapon. The last word we received from it was ghosts. Then we lost contact. We've alerted the armed forces, but we can't find a trace of the plane. Will you help us? Yes, sir. We're on our way. We've got a tough assignment. All right. When do we leave, huh? I'd like to take you, Belfry, but it's too dangerous. You stay here. Oh, you guys have all the fun. We better start moving. Oh, you got a new haircut, Jake. You look cute. Oh, gee, thanks, Futura. You coming with us? Where you go, I go. Well, work clothes, everyone. Let's go, go, Buster! Guys, I forgot. I parked GB outside. Come on. This is where the ship was when they lost contact. Try a 45 degree west turn, Tracy. We'll take a look there. Oh, there it is. Wow, it's gigantic. <laughs> This ship's like a flying city. It's got everything. <laughs> it's going to be the greatest thing I've ever stolen. Send for the robot guards. If anybody tries to come on board, they'll be very sorry. <laughs> what is it? 
I just saw the ghost bunkers! Now those snoopers again? Well, let's give them a special welcome! Turn on the electromagnets! <laughs> Slow down! I can't! Something's pulling me in! Throw the gears in reverse! Watch out! Oh no! We're gonna crash! And scratch my paint job? No way! I should have had my seatbelt on! You should have stayed home, ghost meddlers! Oh! Primeval! So he's behind this. You're right, Eddie. And when I finish with you, you'll really wish you hadn't dropped by. Ah! 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 Hey, let me out of here. <laughs> That's funny. That sounded just like Belfry. It is Belfry, and it's not funny. I thought I told you to stay back at the office. I did, Jake. All right, come out of there. I'm pilot GT7. This is my co-pilot GT6. Mm, you don't look like ghosts. Don't worry. We're not ghosts. We're ghost busters. Thank goodness. <laughs> Somebody's coming? Okay, but they'll have to find us first. <laughs> Next time, don't marshal fast. Well, open the door. I gotta be sure the ghost bunkers are in there. <laughs> They're gone. Nothing but mailbags. <laughs> oh, Primeval's not gonna like this. Guards! Guards! Get out of my way, robot. Are they gone? Yes, but not far enough. Bratterat will soon realize he's been tricked. Jake, we've got to get out of here. Wait a minute. This is a test flight. <laughs> that means no crew. <laughs> and no crew means no mail. <laughs> so what was in those mailbags? <laughs> the Ghostbusters, they tricked me. All clear in this room. Oh, wow! Look! It's a library! We have to be very careful here. That tunnel isn't too strong. Gee, let me look. Uh-oh. <laughs> The more I see him, the less I like him. Now, how do I slow the ship down or turn it? Hmm. Maybe it's these buttons. They're all locked up in the library and... <laughs> Boss, we're gonna hit that planet! I know! I know! Quick! I can't control the plane! Bring the pilot and that troublemaker, Jake! Right. You and you! That one and that one! Come on! And on the double! Great Scott, we're heading straight toward Mercury. We're going to crash into that planet. Turn the ship! I don't know how, but you do. Pilot, get back to flying the ship. I think maybe it's too late. Hurry, turn the ship around before we crash. <laughs> Taking you so long? Don't ask me. Ask 
extra hot shot who messed up these mm, controls. I wouldn't call Primeval a hot shot, maybe a smokehead. <laughs> Try it again, Tracy, please. Come on, everybody, let's pull together. One, two, three! <laughs> Tracy, you did it! <laughs> hey, there's Jake! He's with Prime Evil! Turn up the volume! Don't tempt me to zap you to another galaxy! I hope you're better at zapping than you are at flying this ship! He won't get far. Where can he go? <laughs> As for you, you are under my spell. You're wasting your time. I'm a robot. You will obey my command, robot. Mm, yes, yep. Bad news. That's better. Where are we going? To Haunt Quarters, your new home. Hey, go on. Boss, the others escaped. Send for Fangster. He'll be able to take care of them if you can't. Hey, Jake. Here. Thank goodness you got away. Stay where you are. We saw you escape from Prime Evil. Oh, you were terrific. So brave, so fearless, and so cute. Gee, thanks, Gugura. I, I mean, gee, thanks, Futuro. Greg, you know, over here, we have a new passenger. It is a human! Oh! Fangster! I found them! They're in the video room! <laughs> Bring those ghost bummers to me! I have a score to settle! Oh! They know where we are! We better split up. Where's Tracy? He's trying to fix the dematerializer. What a time for it to break down! Come on! Come on, Tracy, fix that later. Fangster's here and he knows where we are. He's real close, Tracy. I can tell by my nose. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we were uh, just talking about you guys. Well, so much for conversation. Run, Tracy! Fuzzball! Not again! It doesn't work! Watch out, Tracy! You can't scare me! That's not working! 
Nice going, Tracy. Fangster won't be bothering us for a while. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well, what do you know? They shorted out. I guess water and electricity really don't mix. Attaboy, Trace. Give those dirty robots a bath. You look like you're cooking up a plan. That's it! Cooking! Uh, I don't get it. We know how to take care of the robots now, and I think I know how to get rid of Prime Evil. How are you gonna do that? Eddie, Belfry, just in time. Remember how mad Prime Evil was when he couldn't fly this ship? Mad? His face was so red, you could have fried an egg on his head. That's what I mean. He was cooking mad. Now all we have to do is get him madder. How come? Maybe. Just maybe, he'll get so mad, he'll cook all his energy away. That's the weirdest plan I've ever heard. <laughs> but it just might work. Okay, let's water down the robots, and then we'll try to fire up Prime Evil. <laughs> Time to clean up your act, guys. <laughs> There, Bubblehead. Bet you can't catch me. Ready, set, go! Fangster's taking too long. Send more guards after them. Don't bother, Prime Feeble. You won't find Fangster, and you won't find any more guards. Oh, no. I can't be fooled that easily. Guards! Guards! Sorry, Prime Evil. But come see for yourself. They're all washed up. All right, now you've gone too far. He's on his way, Tracy. If Prime Evil has any weaknesses, it's losing his temper. Here he comes. I've had enough of you and your tricks. I feel the same way about you, too. Now, stop bothering me. I'm reading. How dare you read in my presence? You're real tough with those lightning bolts, but I bet you couldn't face me without them. For you, I'll use my bare hands. Oh, before I forget, take a look at my latest painting. It's an original. I call it Prime Fool. <laughs> See, you can't win a fight without zapping. In fact, you can't do anything without zapping. Oh, no! Now I'm angry! Really angry! I'll show you! Hey, boss! <laughs> Running out of steam? <laughs> Who asked you? You may have won this one, but we'll meet again! Anytime, Evil. The Ghostbusters are ready for you. And so on behalf of our space program, I am pleased to award you these medals for your heroic deeds. And I am especially pleased to... Uh, where's Belfry? Sir! Here I am, sir! Uh -huh. And to Belfry, who proved big deeds and big hearts sometimes come in small packages. Uh, hi, boys and girls. In today's story, the Ghostbusters were captured and outnumbered. And Prime Evil thought he had successfully hijacked the spaceship. But Prime Evil didn't count on the Ghostbusters using their imagination to escape and finding a way to defeat them. So remember, even when things look bad, you have the ability to make things better. 